If you're mainly a programmer like me, you may have found yourself in this situation where you have to make some sprites for your game, so we usually gravitate towards making something in pixel art. It's faster, especially in game jams, stuff like that. So since my brother is an expert at doing this, he has a very, very big portfolio of pixel art and other kinds of styles that he mastered and works on every day. So I asked to help us with our programmer art and give us some tips that we can follow regardless of our level. He's gonna be covering a few topics Please make sure to check the time codes if you want to check something in particular. And I hope you enjoy this kind of video. I leave you to it. Hello everyone, my name is Ton. I am Emilio's older brother and I'm a digital artist. Today I'm here to show you some very basic concepts of pixel art to improve or transform any sprite into something readable and nice to the view with a few simple steps. For that I'm gonna be using this neat little app called Pixelorama, which is uh, open software and completely free, but of course you can do the same in, I'm about to show you in literally any program you have for editing graphics. I have a sprite that I have ready for this tutorial, so I'm gonna start opening that one. It's open. Uh, it's a 64 by 64 pixels sprite. First of all, this is, you don't have to follow this step, but I do like having a white background on the sprites. Right now this is the alpha, so there's nothing in here. Okay, when talking about pixel art, we are talking about pixel efficiency, which means that every sprite needs to convey the most amount of information in the most clear and readable way on the smallest space possible. That's why there are techniques that are universal among pixel art sprites because of how the medium works. And we are going to start with the colors, the swatches or color palettes. Having a limited amount of colors throughout all of your sprites will make everything feel cohesive and in a sense part of the same world. So for that I have ready a website, it is called low spec and, and we want this section called the palette list. And here you have an incredible amount of pixel art palettes, selections made by different users and some professional palettes used in, in other projects that you can choose from. There, there are palettes with different number of colors to choose from. There are bigger and smaller palettes. But for now on, we are going to use this one called Low Spec 500. You can see here 42 colors to use. This is going to be enough. I already downloaded this palette to my computer. I'm just going to go to the palette picker, pressing this little bottom here to import. This is the one, CM1632X. I'm gonna open this and we're gonna see all the colors in, in this palette ready. All right, so the colors are not very important. You can use basically any swatches and if you have enough proficiency, you're gonna make it look good. So using these swatches, I'm gonna paint again the main colors of my sprite. First, the blue of the hat, something like this. Then the skin, we're gonna go for, a, for an orange, kind of something like this. That's enough, great. Then the shirt which is green i'm gonna choose like a dark green or let's do some lighter green something like this nice also for the trousers i'm gonna choose the same color as the hat okay and finally the shoes we're gonna choose like this nice red for the shoes all right already you can see the colors feel more balanced they are not very hard to watch like before but there's still some work to do we are gonna focus on the outlines in pixel art, you really don't need outlines like the ones in this sprite, but they are very useful to make the shapes of the sprite pop out from the background in any environment. The most common outline style is the one pixel wide line, which is very simple. You can see it here in a vertical line or a horizontal way, one pixel following the other. But when we have diagonals or curves, then the line gets, as you can see, a little rougher, a little harder to read, a little uncomfortable to see. <laughs> we are gonna clean up the lines to make them of a consistent thickness and smooth curves, removing all the extra pixels in the corners, like this. I'm gonna select the eraser, and we're gonna take all the extra pixels from the corners, and you can see instantly the difference between the previous one and this one. So what you want to is to prevent any lines to touch them in diagonals like they do in if they go horizontal or vertical. 
So we want to do the same for our sprite right here, our little guy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to paint with the color that I want inside the object or the sprite. And I'm going to remove the lines from the inside in this case because I want to keep the volume. I don't want to shrink the sprite, I want to keep the volume. So I'm going to take mainly from the inside. So first I'm going to pick the blue of the hat. I'm going to paint all the corners like this. Maybe we can even take this one out. It's okay like this. Nice. In some occasions like this, you don't have to do it. We can fix this later with color. Next one is the skin. By the way, I'm pressing right click to, to pick the color I'm on top of. I'm going to paint like this. Nice and round. Other thing that we don't need is the outlines for every line in the drawing. In this case, you can see the eyes and the nose is very conflicting. It has conflicting shapes. Actually, you can even think this has glasses instead of just the nose. So we're going to take those lines completely. We don't need all the outlines for every object. We're going to pick and choose our battles. Right, now we can see the eyes defined inside of the face. And for the nose, I'm going to take this one. And we can take this also, this one too. Or we can, as an artistic choice, leave some of the lines in there, like that one. There we go. Next one, the body. I'm going to do the same with the body. Let's leave it like this. Let's take this out. Maybe we don't need this much. Now I'm going to take this out. Okay. Next one, I'm going to go with the hands. This, this, this one too. We have a lot of pixels here colliding in this place. I'm going to stretch the belly. I'm going to move that line a little to the right. Yeah, at least this feels a little cleaner. All right. Now, trousers here. Okay. This little curve in here. Let's take from the outside this time. I'm going to select the rubber. I'm going to take out from the outside some... Well, something like this can work. Okay. And finally, we're going to take the red of the shoes and paint this out. You can see here in this case, when I paint those corners, I make the shoes like rounder or feel like square and I don't want that in this particular case so we have to choose from where to take out the corners I'm gonna take out from the outside so it's gonna feel like it has the same shape like going down in a diagonal like this nice nice now you can see the difference Everything is cleaner, you can see the shapes better defined and smoother. But as I said before, we don't need all the lines in here. The general rule is to leave the outlines for the outside of the shade. So we don't need, for example, the outline of the, of the face. I can take the same color of the face and take that out, like this. We can even leave this one out, like this. For now it feels a little weird, don't worry. Just follow follow the steps. Next, I'm going to take this one out. Now I'm going to take this and make it like this. We don't need this the line of this shirt because it's inside. And we don't need the line of this trouser because it's inside. I'm going to leave it with the line of the, the color of the shoe. Like this. The face here feels a little weird, but we're going to fix that very soon. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the same concept with it with the color, but we're going to apply it to the lines. All the lines that we want to keep are going to be the same color as the main object, like let's say the shirt, but they are going to be in a darker green. It's going to choose maybe this, maybe a little darker. This. Great. Yeah, feels better. Okay, this one too, and I want this one here. Now we're going to do the same with the skin. We had previously this orange, so we're going to go with something a little darker. Something like that. Same with the hands.
maybe this hand is too big so I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna remove a few like that perfect okay next one is the hat and the trousers I'm gonna pick a darker blue okay this I can remove this line here adding like a blue like this but instantly gonna feel weird like the hat is cutting here that's because we have the the bill here that it's supposed to be out going out and making a shade so in this case we're gonna leave the line we're not gonna touch it next finish with the shoes I'm gonna select a darker red for the shoe this And since the, the line in the floor is connecting to the ground, we can leave it like this. Or we can finish the line. It depends on your artistic preference. Now I see inside the head we have some lines that we want to also clean. So we're going to paint those. Here we can add a little detail to the hand in here. Just doesn't make a big difference. Just a little touch. Also, I'm gonna remove this pixel here because I want the shape of the head to be symmetric. So I'm gonna remove one of from here. And I'm gonna add it like that. I also, I can remove this one in here. Second thing that we, we, we can do is adding the highlights. Now the colors still feel a little dark. That's something that I like to do personally. I start with darker colors and then I add the highlights, which means the colors from the light or you can go the other way you can start with brighter colors and add the shadows but personally i choose to do it this way so i'm gonna add the shadow from this direction let's go let's gonna think the, the sun is over here and the light it's coming like this so everything is gonna be highlighted from this direction for doing that i'm gonna select a nicer blue something like this in here inside of the shape nothing like that nice next the shirt i'm gonna select a clear green this i'm going to hit the shirt this direction all the way maybe we can go like something like this maybe this is not very important this, this is up to the shape that you want to give like that Okay, maybe a little bit in this arm, something like, something like this. The second part of the trousers, like this. Maybe the sun comes all the way from here. And a little bit here. Yeah, that feels, that feels nice. And the shoes, brighter red. For the light over here. Okay, I can also do the same with the skin. But I'm feeling that the skin can be a little lighter. Something like this maybe. Okay, so now we can do the same we did with the main shapes and apply it to the lines. Because right now we have the outlines with the same color for every angle of the sprite. So we're gonna add from the angle of the light we can maybe even remove the, the outlines, adding the same color like, like this, let's say. Since the arm is in this way, it's gonna feel like that. And maybe we can use the darker blue for the trouser and for the hat, only in the areas where the light is hitting, you see? And maybe here also, because you have the build in this way, right? We can do the same in the face, take this out. We can do the same in the hand, this maybe, and on the other one, well, since it's over here, maybe it's fine, but we can also clean it up like this if we want. And here with the red of the shoe, maybe not so bright, but we can go something more like this. Maybe we can take this, this one out, this. Right. Yeah, already it feels better. Let me take this one 
in here to close it up and let's say the nose also it's gonna be affected so let's add a little color like that yeah nice so here in the mouse a little detail ah, i forgot to add the highlight to the face All right so i'm gonna add the highlight also here and i'm gonna think that this hat is on the way so maybe there's gonna be a shadow here in the face so i'm gonna go maybe something like like this let's say also we can use the nose for the same but it's fine we don't need that for now let's say something like this maybe let's go one more down just to make the shade more clear of the hat and since we're hitting here the the eye with shadow i'm gonna also use a little green uh, sorry a little gray here in the eye maybe that's too strong how about this a little pinky let's choose another one like yeah maybe something like that next we can add a little bit of color if we want like let's say details on the cheeks if you want more detail make it like giving it a little more of character since this is in shadow shadow let's do something like that from now on of course it's it's all of the artistic choice that you want you can maybe even break a little bit these lines if you don't want them to be so strong um there are other techniques that that you can use we can also take this off to make it rounder that i can paint this one too i don't like that one too well you can see the the main difference of course i'm gonna take care of this sun direction thing over here so this is what we have right now uh it's different from before it's not better not worst because art is subjective but it has all the basic basic techniques that you want to consider when you're improving your artwork or your spreads basically using the palette using clean lines not don't having to use the outlines for every single uh, shape of the sprite and then you can get creative with it and you can choose to do different artistic decisions depending on each sprite of course and adding other details inside without crushing it with outlines like like before with a little more time working on it with a few changes here and there i finally got the sprite to look like this and of course now that we chose these colors for the character we can use softer shades for elements such as the background and decorations always restricted uh, by the swatches we are using to have a like a hierarchy of colors inside your game and so your player won't be mistaking a platform the enemies or any interactive objects with a background or decorations and that's basically it for today uh, this is of course only the tip of the iceberg but with this you can instantly make more readable sprites and you can continue improving your skills with more tutorials you can find even great tutorials on the website i've showed you before where the one with the swatches and once you understand the rules and techniques of pixel art and why the artists use each of them then it's time for you to break them and do what you think is best for your own and that's it thank you thank you very much Toen. and if you guys want to see more of his art you can check his youtube channel where he does dwarf fortress let's plays with amazing storytelling and his signature pixel art if you don't know what dwarf fortress is you are actually missing out also thank you very much to all my patreons i promise that the next update for dialogic is coming out soon i've been doing a lot of stuff so it's hard to work on everything the videos the plugins job and everything else but as always if you have any questions please you're welcome to join my discord server and ask there's a community of very nice people that are always helping and keeping the community fun and active okay won't keep you here any longer even if there's probably only two of you by now but yeah thanks again and bye